Now, I'll be honest with you, I don't vape and I don't smoke. And for context, I've been looking after patients with gut health problems, inflammatory bowel disease for over 25 years between London and Dubai. So when patients ask me, especially people with uh, gut problems or Crohn's disease, is vaping okay for my gut? My answer has always been, yes, it's definitely better than smoking. And that part is still true. But when I started looking deeper into this data, um, there were a few things uh, that even I didn't fully appreciate. And if you're concerned about your gut care, you need to hear this. Now, most people think vaping only affects the lungs, but the chemicals you inhale don't stay there alone. They get into your bloodstream, they get into your gut lining. And what the newer studies are showing is that these chemicals can make the gut lining a bit weaker. Now, that makes it much more easier to irritate and easier for inflammation to kick off. So even though vaping has less tar and fewer toxic smoke chemicals, and yes, great for the lungs, but genuinely better than smoking, it doesn't mean that the gut is completely protected. So if you've switched over from smoking to vaping, that's already a huge step. Well done, genuinely. But try and go that extra step and stop vaping itself.